Hello and welcome. Now this is a HP laptop and the battery is totally dead. Now in order to replace it with some of the older laptops you used to be able to have a catch and then you could slide it out. This one the battery is inside and it needs to be accessed by the screws here. Now before you order your new battery make sure that you have the correct model on this one here it says 840G3 and also you can check on the HP website to make sure that the model and serial number correspond. So let's go and replace the battery. Now to get this open you will need a little Phillips screwdriver and the size of the Phillips is PH00 and just count the screws you have and if you count them all there's 10 screws so let's take them out if you've taken out the first one just put it aside somewhere safe so you know where it is Now some of the screws they got loose but didn't come out so what you can do is you can get a little magnet just pop them out and then just go around and check that you have all the screws out and it is almost ready to open but there's a little hidden screw and where the SD card slot is just take out the little blank card and there's the little screw down there. Again open that. Now that is a different screw, it's longer so I'll keep that to one side. Remember where that went. What you'll need then is a little something to help you lift it. So that's the LAN where the LAN plug goes. So just push that up and it should pop up. If it doesn't pop up then you can use a little spudger to help you along. A plastic one, not metal. So put that to one side. Now this is your battery. From what I can see and I'll do a close up it appears to have a stain it's quite possible the battery was weeping, which means it definitely needs to be replaced as soon as possible. Now the battery appears to be held in with a couple of screws, so let's undo those and we'll pop the battery. Again, this screw is different, so I'll keep that to one side again. There should be another screw here but it seems to be missing. It's quite possible this has been opened before. Now there's also a little tab here. So what you do is you just get a hold of it and gently lift it. And the battery then will just lift out. Turn it around. There's more stain here. And there's a little bit of deformation or deformation here. It looks like it's swelled slightly so that battery has definitely had it. So we'll put that to one side. Now before you go any further just have a look inside and just check for dust. You could give it a good clean out. I mean most importantly where the fan is make sure it's not. It had been cleaned recently by the looks of it. And again before you take it, go any further again is just put the cover back on, not permanently, just into place. Turn it over. Open it up. And press and hold the power button. 
Now by doing that then you will discharge what's if there's any residual charge within the laptop that'll discharge it. When you're happy with that turn it back over again. Let's go back around this way. Lift it up. Put it to one side. And now we're going to fit the replacement battery. Now here we have the replacement old battery, replacement battery. Some small instruction. Interestingly enough, it came with a little Phillips screwdriver that was uh, nice of them. And this is the battery itself. So make sure this battery is the correct battery before you fit it or try to fit it. Make sure it matches up with the one that's being removed. So you could hold them next to each other, like so, and see what it looks like. Now they appear to be the same. Also underneath, make sure everything is the same. So when you're happy with that, to fit it in, you'll notice there's little grooves here and there's little points here that you will slide it in under. Line it up and press it into place. Now oh, that's the new battery in place. Now let's screw it down. Again remembering this one here by itself is the one for here. Now sometimes they don't always go back in the way they never line up right, so just keep at it. And what you can do next after you have this, there should be another one there, I'll have to locate one later in my collection of screws. Again just give it a once over make sure it's nice and tidy and clean and there's nothing out of place and then replace the back cover. Once you believe you have it lined up press it down and you'll hear little clicks the occasional little click and then start screwing the screws back in. Now ideally what I want to do is I want to go for the center one first. That should line it up nicely. That's that one and then work your way around. Not forgetting the little one that's not forgetting the little one that's hidden behind the SD card. We'll do that next. And then fit the rest of them. Right, no screws left along here and all the screws appear to be in place. Now when you tighten them down just to tighten them a little bit hand tight not over tighten them because you don't want to cause any damage. Now a quick test would be to just switch it on momentarily because uh, you don't want to leave it on because you want to charge it up fully first. So let's have a quick test. Right, we have a little light coming on there and then we have it working. Hold down the power button so it doesn't boot and now it's switched off again. Your charge point, put it in, put it on charge.
and then leave it on charge until it is fully charged. Now it may not be it may not be full capacity or it may not uh, work 100% until it's charged and discharged about five times. Then it'll find a balance in medium and then it should be good for another few years. The battery I fitted to this, I found it online from a supplier and it was just, oh, just under 35 euro. Depending where you shop, you can spend as much as 90 to 100 euro on a battery. But make sure that it's, ha it's a decent battery and that it's going to last you. Now, if you were to replace this little laptop, it's an i5, it would probably cost you in the region of about 300 euro. So for the sake of 35 euro, it's well worth doing. And you may get many more years out of it. Now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe and drop a comment if you wish.